Is uh, President Donald Trump wishing journalists well today or, or not? Well, we haven't heard from President Donald Trump himself, uh, but certainly what we can say about the United States is that uh, they have dropped a few places in the world press freedom rankings you were referring to just there. They've dropped from place uh, number 43 to position 45. Uh, and Reporters Without Borders, who conduct those world press freedom rankings, they say that's in part because of President Donald Trump and his repeated attacks on the press. Of course, he has labelled the American press. He says they are the enemy of the American people. Uh, he's singled out uh, different news outlets and individual journalists on his Twitter account. He frequently refers to stories he doesn't like uh, as fake news. Uh, and in addition to what's happening nationally, uh, Reporters Without Borders say that locally in the United States, local journalists uh, across the country, they face increased risk of arrest. Uh, and they're finding it harder and harder to do their job because of cutbacks to different newsrooms as well. So the picture in the United States, uh, unfortunately, not getting any prettier. People say it's getting worse. And what analysts say is that it's particularly bad for the world because the United States is often held up as a, a model of press freedom and how press freedom should work. And they say, look, because the U.S. is getting worse, that uh, emboldens authoritarian regimes where they might try and clamp down on their press. And they can point to the United States and say, well, look, Donald Trump criticizes fake news. Why can't we do it as well? So uh, a, a lot of concern here in the United States about that uh, possible slip back in press freedom in this country. Uh, and I can tell you it's encouraging critics here in South Africa. Are, are journalists themselves uh, really thinking about how to deal with this climate of, of hate even? Well, one of the big campaigns we've seen today on World Press Freedom Day is uh, lots of uh, different news outlets carrying a, a big advertising campaign encouraging their audiences to consume other news outlets as well. I'll show you just one example. This is the uh, New York Times. They have a full-page advert in their paper today. It says, don't just read the New York Times, read the Wall Street Journal, watch CNN, read BBC News. And then the tagline at the bottom of the advert is, read more, listen more, understand more. Now, it's pretty striking to see the New York Times encourage its readers to try and uh, buy copies of its arch-rival newspaper, the Wall Street Journal. But the reason they're doing this, they say, uh, is because if they believe that if people consume uh, a, a vigorous, well-researched, uh, um, good journalism, if they consume good journalism, that supports the entire industry. That helps support other other news organizations as well. And if people are consuming a variety of news, different opinions, uh, for example, different perspectives, organizations with different values, then that stops people being cooped up in their echo chambers, exposing them to a, a wide variety of views. And that's good for democracy and that's good for press freedom. So that's just one of the campaigns that we've seen going on here in the United States today. Yeah, and good for abuse because you have all these different voices. Uh, very quickly, is there talk of, of the journalists around the world who've been killed? That, that's what this day is all about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and lots of talk about that uh, here in the United States as well. And I, I should point out that although we haven't heard from President Donald Trump, we have heard from the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. He's put out a statement in support of World Press Freedom Day where he says uh, the U.S. renews its commitment to promoting democracy in a uh, free press. Uh, and he said that we honor the many journalists uh, around the world uh, and media actors who have dedicated their lives, often at great risk, to promote transparency and accountability throughout the world. So lots of recognition about the dedication of journalists around the world and the work that they do. All right, thank you so much, Harry Horton from Washington. And I think journalists around the world will be very surprised if U.S. President Donald Trump uh, wishes any journos well today. But it is uh, Press Freedom Day, and uh, we've been covering that and all your top stories. Thank you for being with us on SABC's Prime News. Uh, sporting action coming up, and then I'll be...